Hi, Dan Johnson here. We're at Sun and Fun 2012, and we have the pleasure to speak with Jana Phillip today. She is the director of the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, and now a lot of people know who she is because she had a wonderful first year as a director, along with your big staff, of course. But how was it in 2012, Jana? Thank you, Dan. It was wonderful. We were blessed with four back-to-back -back beautiful days of weather, which in Florida in January always helps. And a lot of aircraft was sold at our show this year. Now this was the eighth running of Sebring, so it's seven years prior. It had the wonderful leadership of Bob Wood, who everyone came to like. And those were some big shoes, but Jana had worked with Bob through all of those years, I believe and uh, stepped in pretty gracefully along with some good help from her husband and a whole flock of volunteers. How many people did you have helping, Jana? We were blessed with over 300 volunteers. 300. Yeah, and again, I have volunteered since the inception. In fact, I was on the founding committee of the expo, and that was back in 2003. Our first expo was in 2004, and we have just grown, and you can kind of tell from the number of volunteers because it took over 300 this year to run the show. Well, speaking of good numbers, you have some other good numbers too. You haven't always released a count of the number of visitors, but in, in the other good years, and they've all been pretty good years, but in the other ones, there's been some estimates by other people that said, well, 11 to 13,000 or so. And whether that was right or wrong doesn't matter, but this year you did release a number. What was it? We did. We released a number of 16,000 and that is we are sure that we surpassed that number. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you know, anecdotally, for those of us that are on the ground, you can't tell those kind of figures, but you can look at the crowds that were clustered around airplanes at any one time of the day, and it mostly lasted throughout the day. It was well sustained, but it seemed clear to me that when the numbers were announced, I don't think anybody went, oh, they're just, they're just pulling our leg. It no. was a real number. In fact, it was kind of the opposite. You know, it was, are you sure you didn't have more than that? Because it always, it was a, an excellent flow. We were always busy. There were always people coming. But it was right around the 16,000. Well, you certainly were successful with four beautiful days of weather. Warm, dry, no clouds, no not many clouds anyway, and no rain and all of that. How was the exhibitor response to the show? That is, the, how many exhibitors did you have? And, and what kind of feedback did they give you when it was all over? No, I'm glad you asked me that because I'm actually getting a lot of feedback at this show at Sun and Fun as a result of what has happened between our show and now Sun and Fun. And we estimated at the time that we had, the manufacturers had sold over 20 aircraft with another 40 to 50 possible. And for example, um, one of the manufacturers thought they had sold three airplanes and I got the report this week that seven were sold with another two to be delivered this week as a result of the show at Sebring. So we are well over 300 aircraft sold, and we know what that does to the ancillary exhibitors as well. Sure, that's an important thing, and, and there are people I know that will see this video go, well, okay, fine, we don't really care about aircraft sales because we're not in business, we're just a pilot, but the fact of the matter is, if they're not being successful exactly. that way, yeah. those airplanes might not be available, right. or the companies might be struggling to keep up, so their success is truly a benefit to the pilot population that is buying those things or thinking about it buying is. those aircraft. And because it is so easy to give demo rides at our show, I, I really feel that that sells a lot of aircraft and that's what the exhibitors tell us. They love to come to Sebring because they can give those demo rides, which you don't buy a car without a test drive and you don't buy an airplane without that, that run either. Um, they had so, so much more excited. there there this year too. They had uh, an aviation auction and they had the wine tasting. I mean, it, it didn't matter what time of day it was. There were so many for you to do. We had some strong shows there with with the basics, the demo flying, the number of exhibitors, and those kinds of things. But this year, you guys stuck your neck out quite a ways and we decided did. to do some extra things. We did, and we added the seaplane base. And I just came from the seaplane base here at Sun and Fun today, and we're actually going to expand Sebring next year. We had it two days out on Lake Jackson, and it's just about an eight-mile drive. And we ran shuttles back and forth, and we're going to expand it to three days this year. So it'll be the Friday, Saturday, Sunday of our show. You're talking about the splash-in part of yes. Sebring. Okay. Yes. The show is still going to be four days, right? Correct. We are the 17th of January through the 20th, 
and then the splash in will be the 18th, 19th. So another nice change. Yeah. There's always a little bit of negotiation that has to go on with the racetrack there because that's a very important part of that community and they're very busy too and to try and find the right weekends and we, uh, it has sometimes been delayed a little bit but I want right. to congratulate you on picking a date Thank now and early and the word can get out there. Yeah and we are on the same schedule of the track. They've got a big race the weekend prior and the weekend after us and they're simply testing in fact the same company of cars were that was testing this year. Excellent. So it should be, you know. Most airplane guys like car noise too. Right but not all day long car noise. Right. That gets a little tough to deal with. So that's great that you've been able to sandwich that in there, accommodate the needs of the big racetrack as well as the show itself. Let's have two pieces of information, please. The web address, it is right behind us here, but go ahead and give it to us anyway, and then repeat the dates for us. It's sport-aviation-expo.com. And again, that is January the 17th through the 20th of 2013 in Sebring, Florida. And y'all come down is what they usually end that with. Thank you very much. We're Thank talking you. to Jana Phillip here at Sun and Fun 2012. And do you have any information on, the, on uh, this on your site, Dan? We cover the show a lot. We also have a uh, web link to the web uh, to their website. That's all available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.